Hello my lovely Sagittarians. Welcome to your reading for February 2022. Hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you Sagittarius. It's a reading for Sagittarius Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you would like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there that will be specific to you. I have been meditating on your energy, my lovely Sagittarians, and it's it's about ease and grace with you for February. It's about some sort of change that's coming or some sort of change of perception, some sort of change in perception um, of how you're viewing your life, how you're viewing what how you work, um, how you live, um, relationships, it's going to be different for all of you but there's some sort of um, time of, I want to say that you, the satisfaction that you've been getting from work, for some of you it's relationship, isn't there anymore there's some sort of unsettling, you're feeling unsettled, feeling unfulfilled, particularly with work. Um, there's some, what's happened? What's happened here? I'm just trying to listen to what they're saying here, but they're making me feel like you've done, you've worked and you'd not get gotten the um, appreciation or the um, accolades that you thought you would get. That's brought in dissatisfaction, I want to say to you. It's caused you to rethink a lot of things. So for some of you, there's 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 change in where you work. So you're either going to um, cl complete a, a job or stop working for someone, resign. Um, there's some sort of movement. There's some sort of movement. Uh, for some of you, that's about where you're living, being, you know, unfulfilled about where you're living, how you're living, who you're living with. Time to... Um, bring in some change and so with your growth it's important to give yourself space to grow so to me what they're showing me here is it's like um, I, I need to offload some distractions I need to offload some routine so that I can think about what I want to do next, what I want to do with my life, um, what's going to bring me that sort of contentment, how do I want to reinvent myself. There's a real turning point here, there's a new beginning. Um, and it's, you know, I'm, I, as I'm speaking I'm creating your Celtic cross and the, the, the cards that are coming out for you are very interesting uh, because they do speak of what my guides have been telling me here for you. So, okay, one more card. There we go. And let's have a look at what's in store for you. So the first card you've got here, interestingly enough, is the chariot. And so it's about you bringing the changes in that you're wanting to see in your life making it can it can actually be you know tweaking some things bringing in some change to make make your situation um more to your satisfaction make your situation in one where you can still you can grow as well uh, and if that's at work, you know, making changes at work, maybe going for a promotion or putting in some sort of change where that's going to allow you to reach your potential or, or expand. But whatever changes that are going to be coming in for you, you are steering those, you are instigating those, you are bringing those changes about. 
If it's in the home environment for you, um, you're it, you're speaking up. You're bring you're you're making changes to make a, a living arrangement more satisfactory, or completely changing it. Up to you know, it depends on your situation. As we move into February, you have the Hierophant, and that is um, it's it's about institutions, it's about religions. It's about spirituality. It's about ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. It's about being spiritually guided. So to me, and you might think, oh, yeah, but I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm not a medium. I don't know. But your, your body speaks to you. Um, it's about making choices and decisions that sit right with you. Listening to your self-talk. What do you feel? What are your feelings telling you? If there's a dissatisfaction, it's something that we feel on an emotional level. But that's the universe coming in, rattling your cage, saying, okay, look, Sagittarius, it's time, let's bring in some changes here. 2022, I did say to you from the very beginning, was going to be a year of change for many signs, if not all signs, on very, at varying degrees for everybody. But there's going to be, uh, intuition is at play here, wisdom, being wise with the, with the decisions and choices and how you instigate them. It's crossed with the fool. Now that's interesting because with the fool, um, it's about a new beginning. And this is what I'm, this is, this is the overall theme for you in February, the energy that's there for you. The Fool is about leaving the past behind, that is offloading any baggage that you don't want, anything that you don't want. It's a time of change. It's a time of shift. It's a time of having the courage to take that step. Because remember, you're driving this with the chariot. You've got a lot of major arcana cards here, you know. So this is, and it's, that's quite a powerful energy. You're driving this change. This new beginning's happening. It's not something that's happening to you. It's something that you're wanting to bring about. Have a look at the sun. There's optimism. There's, there's um, growth. There's positivity that comes out of, out of this, out of having the courage to jump empty-handed into the void. And that could mean... I'm going to quit my job. I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've just, I've had enough of this. Um, and then you move forward and new things will come to you. New things will unfold. It's important to do things with wisdom and do things that you're comfortable doing in order to bring in that change. It's interesting my lovely Sagittarius, because you've also got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning that brings in abundance. What's abundance to you? Financial, be lovely, you know, million dollars. Um, but it's not just that. It's not just about finances. It's not just about your financial lot in life. It's also about love. It's about health. It's about happiness. It's about um, prosperity in all aspects of your life, in all areas of your life. But there's some sort of new new opening, this new turning point that you're desiring. It, you, you're going to reach a point where it's going to be very, very difficult not to bring in change, not to bring the change in around you that you are seeking. For some of you, it might just be recognition at work, you know, more, more recognition. Um, it might be about your relationship and making a few changes in that so that it is um, more comfortable, a better relationship. You both grow together. But there is absolutely the Ace of Pentacles brings in that newness, brings in that new growth. How does that manifest into your reality? Well, you've got another Ace. Surprise, surprise. Now, I want to show you these cards together because they're quite powerful and they really have that same sort of resonance, same sort of meaning. Swords is about um, new knowledge, new skills, new learning, new ways of communicating, uh, a new way of being. It's about having courage to move forward into your future, having the courage to bring in those changes that you have thought about and being in control of those changes. 
So it's nothing here that you're doing in a hurry. This is premeditated. You think about what it is you want. You write it out. This is about writing it out, um, setting your plans, setting your goals. Let's have a look at the uh, trio that you got. That's powerful. Now, if that doesn't show you that there's change coming, you've got, you've got the fool, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, and they've all come out in sequence, but it is asking you to, to make those changes in wisdom and in that sort of deeper knowledge, that sense of knowing, I know it's time to change, I know it's time to bring in new things. On the bottom of your deck, and I want to show you this, you've got the, the, um, the alchemist, the magician. You manifest, you create the changes that are coming in around you. It brings in great abundance for you. It brings in new ideas, new growth, expansion, prosperity. Very, very positive cards. So you're manifesting, you're creating, which is shown to you by the chariot. See how all these cards just marry together? Um, you know, you're in control. So you're manifesting, you are creating your future. You are creating, you are the change that you want to bring into your life. It's going to be a very, very good month to really think about and process what it is you're wanting, identifying what you're wanting and, and bringing that in. Then we move to the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, male or female that is around you that plays a very significant part in your life, plays a significant role um, in this change that's coming in. Because I feel like they're undergoing some sort of change as well, which is really interesting. And that's going to trickle through. That wave is going to come through with you. So they're quite influential in, in what's going on around you, quite supportive and in control and, and able to communicate and um, give you that strength and courage to, to move forward with your plans. Encouragement. This can also represent you, my lovely Sagittarius, in the driver's seat, being in control, mastering the communication, mastering the knowledge, the skills that you need, um, mastering the written word, word. It could be your resume, your CV that you're formulating for a new position, a new job. But you're taking charge and you know that whatever you want to implement, whatever you want to put in, whatever you've written out will come about. Kings do not doubt that what they're wanting will be followed through absolutely going to happen it will absolutely um, flow then we've got gee with my lovely Sagittarians you've got such powerful cards major arcanas and kings you've got the king of wands this is you this is you stepping into your own male or female but this is your sign this is about pursuing your life's passion pursuing what you what you know is yours pursuing um, your joy pursuing your your destiny is what I'm hearing your destiny your life's purpose uh, which will allow you to feel fulfilled but being in control of what's going on around you. You've got a very, very good head. If you're starting your own business, very good head for business. You, and and um, good fortune is going to come your way as well. I'm going to draw another card for you. <coughs> the good tarot I'm using. Tell me about, about this Sagittarian energy that's coming in. Don't be afraid of what goals you set at the beginning of the year for the end of the year because when it comes around to your birthday, I feel like your life is going to be very, very different. Your life is going to be very, very different. It's about weighing out, balancing, six of earth. It's about balancing. It's about, you know, look at the um, the elk's ears, uh, horns, you know, the the. It, it's, it's about um, the antlers, I should say. 
not horns, the antlers. It's about having, uh, um, what they do is create space. It creates space for them. And that's what you're needing to do. You're needing to create space around you. You're needing to get rid of distractions. You're needing to allow destiny to sort of swirl around you. So you need room to grow, room to change, room to shift. And you're going to be doing a lot of balancing out, weighing things out, toing and froing, you know, um, what's best for you, what do you want, reviewing. But, you know, you're in total control of anything that you, you're considering. Okay. Any obstacles, anything that, that crosses your path, anything that comes your way, <clears throat> it, you will be successful in overcoming. So I feel like whenever there's any shift or any change I want to say to you, there's always things that need to be released. Anything you need to release, anything you need to consider, anything you need to, you know, even talking to um, significant uh, people in this, in this shift, um, you're going to come to the challenge and you will be successful. So there is success in, in anything that crosses your path, any obstacles that are there or anything that you think you need to overcome. It could be fear, it could be um, anticipation, it could be you know anxiety, whatever it is, I don't feel like they're big issues. I feel like you're in control and you will overcome whatever it is that is, is crossing your path. So there's not, I, I don't feel like there's an issue here. <clears throat> You've also got the Prince of Wands, the, the Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands. There's no holding back this energy, my lovely Sagittarians. It is going to come through for you in February. It is going to come through and sweep through your your life and sweep away anything that is needs to change anything that, that needs to be different, anything that is no longer relevant to you in your future, in your moving forward. That can be people, situations, attitudes, behaviours, cycles, whatever it is. <clears throat> it's time to move ahead. And I feel, I feel like you're going to have um, a difficulty not moving ahead, not moving with this energy, not feeling restless, and, you know, it's time to bring in some change because there's a lot of new learning that's coming your way. There's a lot of new learning, a lot of wisdom, a lot of a new way of communicating, a clarity of what your goals are, what your dreams are, a clarity of what you're wanting is going to be there as well. Your final card is the Princess of... Wow, a lot of swords. A lot of swords. So I want to say to you, there's a lot to do with Libra, Gemini, or Aquarian person. The Princess of Swords is about planning your next move. So once you've sort of organised all of this in February, how's it going to um, translate into March? Planning. You're planning. You're putting things in place. Okay, so February is a month of just withdrawing a little bit, giving yourself room to consider new ways of being. And then you're going to lay new plans. So the the princess of um, <clears throat> the princess of what is that? Wait on, let me put my glasses on because I think it's no, it's the prince of swords, not the princess of swords. I should really put my glasses on. <clears throat> the prince of swords is about moving ahead into March forging ahead so you're going to actually um, have make these plans have these considerations have these new starts and then it's about putting them in place it's about you've got two 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 nights here and the nights are about action it's about pursuing your life's purpose pursuing what brings you joy pursuing what changes you want to bring in very quickly and the and having the courage to make those changes to move forward with those changes I love that. But there's also planning. I also feel like, you know, you've got that planning energy. So there's not, you're not just going, oh, okay, let's just do this. There is consideration and there is planning here um, as well. So you're not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but you need to um, consider what is going on, what changes you want to bring in. What doesn't resonate with you anymore? <clears throat> <clears throat> so 
Okay, let me get my glasses. So you've got two cards here. You've got distorted perceptions. Reality is really what is, I'll start again, distorted perceptions. Reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is. Reality is our, is our perception really, isn't it? And so it's about changing your perception, changing your reality. Then there's assistance with access. It's necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it because that is there in the form of the Hierophant, your higher self, your guides, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, is there to assist you. Uh, you need to be in tune with it, really, really tap into your um, emotions. But ask for the assistance that you're needing because it is absolutely there for you for this change and the change starts with this change in perception that you have. Then I've got the Divine Abundance deck. <clears throat> and um, this last deck that I used was the Lantern Oracle. So, Divine Abundance. Can I have a card, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? What are we telling them? What guidance is being offered to them? <coughs> Thank you. Again, you've got two cards. Okay. Energetic clearing. During crises, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. So it's happening in February for you and divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit and that's where you have the connection. Ease and grace. <clears throat> Detach yourself and allow that, you know, how your body speaks to you, how you feel, what, what, what's coming through in your dreams, what messages are you receiving, what synchronicities are going on around you that will come to you to help you in your in your month of February. I wish you many blessings, my lovely Sagittarians. Ease and grace. Enjoy the month and bring in, um, bring in the newness and the potential that is there for you, but also allow yourself to have the space to realise what it is you're wanting to bring in so that you can manifest it. Many blessings to you. If you'd like to book a private reading that's specific to you, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. Blessings to you, my lovely Sagittarians.